excited to be sharing with you guys my bag collection in today's video. So let's start with Chanel. My first Chanel bag that I got was a mini square in black caviar leather with 24 karat gold plating. This mini square was very kindly handed down to me by my mom years ago, but I still absolutely love this to this day. My mom purchased this bag back in 2008, and at that time Chanel was still producing bags with 24 karat plated hardware. Now unfortunately Chanel no longer does this. I wear this bag frequently, especially for dressier occasions. Next is the mini rectangle in this dark green patent leather with gold hardware. I got this in 2016 or 2017. The patent leather has held up really well and I've had no issues with it at all. However, I don't wear this one as much since I prefer the mini square. I'm also on the petite side so I find that the mini square looks better on me proportionally since it has a shorter chain. Nonetheless, I still adore this mini rectangle. This is a vintage cylinder bag in lambskin. I'm not sure what the exact name of this bag is, but I believe Chanel released this in the early 2000s and it was a seasonal bag. I got this in Japan when I went vintage shopping in Tokyo. As you can see, the gold hardware on this is 24 karat plated, which is why it's much more yellow and bright compared to Chanel's current gold hardware. I usually wear this on a night out since it is small and the capacity is quite limited. I enjoy having this in my collection because of how unique and special it is. This is a timeless CC bag which is also a vintage piece. It's in black caviar with gold hardware. This was released in 2002 or 2003. My mom gave this bag to me years ago since she wasn't really using it anymore, but personally I really love it. The timeless CC bag became popular again on YouTube a few months ago, which surprised me since I never really heard anyone mention it before. I think this bag is so cute and I usually wear it when I'm dressed down. When I'm not using it, I stuff it with a pillow inside to help keep the shape. The most recent Chanel bag that I added to my collection was the classic flap in black, medium size, caviar leather with gold hardware. For the longest time, this was my dream bag. I was so grateful when I finally got it this year. I love this bag and I get so much use out of it. I typically wear it on the shoulder with both chains doubled up, but occasionally I do wear it as a crossbody. I hope to add more colors and sizes of the classic flap in my collection in the future. Now let's go to my Dior bags. The saddle was my first ever Dior purchase. This is in the medium size with a navy blue oblique and gold hardware. I like styling the saddle with simpler, more casual outfits since I find that it really elevates any look. The canvas is relatively easy to maintain and I've had no problem with it so far. This is the Lady Dior in the small size in the blush color lambskin with champagne gold hardware. The Mitzar scarf that I have is in this Rose Devance oblique print. The Mitzas are purchased separately from the bag. I prefer to have it since it keeps the handles protected. This is the bag that makes me the happiest in my collection. I love the color and the size. It's such a timeless piece and I know that I'll be wearing this well into my 60s or 70s because it's such a classic. The last Dior bag I have to share with you is the Caro. This is in black calfskin leather with gold hardware. The leather in this is low maintenance and relatively fuss free. This bag is easy to style since it goes with pretty much any look. It's also versatile since you can remove the chain strap and wear it as a clutch or switch out the strap with something else. Let's take a look at my YSL bags. This is the envelope bag in dark beige with gold hardware in the small size. This is in the green leather which makes it really hard wearing and less prone to scratches. It's a great bag to transition from day to night. I reach for this often because it is in a neutral color and it works well with a variety of looks. You can use a chain in multiple ways such as wearing it long on the shoulder or cross body and you can also double up the chain to make it into a shorter shoulder bag. If you prefer the look of a clutch, you can tuck in the chain inside the bag as well. The second and last YSL bag that I have is this blue bag in a lighter beige color with silver hardware. This is the only bag in my collection with silver hardware since I do prefer gold. But with a specific shade of beige, I find that silver complements it better. I usually wear this when I go to formal events since it's a more structured bag and the lambskin is too delicate to use on a daily basis. I only have one bag from Celine and it's a Teen Triumph in white canvas with gold hardware. I bought this fairly recently and I've been using it non-stop. I get tons of compliments on this bag, I think because it has a really young and modern vibe. I've been wanting a white bag for the longest time and the Triumph from Celine was the perfect choice. The canvas is durable so I don't have to worry about it too much even if it's in a lighter color. This also comes with an adjustable leather strap so you can choose to wear it either shorter or longer depending on what look you're trying to go for. The last bag I had to share with you is from Louis Vuitton. This is the Vavin Watt Unchained in the Damier Ben print. 
I tend to use this bag on dates or for events because of how compact it is. My favorite way to wear this is on the shoulder by wrapping the chain inside to make it shorter. If you're thinking about starting your designer bag collection, I recommend getting this as one of your first bags since the LB canvas is durable and the look or the design of the walk makes it easier to style for both daytime and nighttime outfits. So those are all of my bags. I hope you enjoyed this portion of the video. See you in the rest of the vlog.